The Oklahoma Sooners have found their quarterback for 2024, and my team, the West Virginia Mountaineers, could actually benefit from it, and possibly even another Big 12 team. And how is that, you ask, Goose? We'll pull up a chair, sit back, relax, and I'll explain. What is up, college sports fans, Big 12 fans, and fellow members of Mountaineer Nation? This is Coos. Welcome into another edition of Coos's Corner. Pull that chair up and let me serve you up this shot of top shelf college football content. On tap in today's episode, we are talking about Oklahoma getting their quarterback for the 2024 class in four star recruit Michael Hawkins Jr. And fans of two other Big 12 teams should be happy about this, including Mountaineer fans. Cincinnati fans should also be happy. And I know you I know you want to know why, and I'm going to tell you right now. That's because 2024 quarterback recruit Samaj Jones, who was being recruited by both the Bearcats and the Mountaineers, had Oklahoma as one of his final four choices, along with, like I mentioned, the Mountaineers, the Bearcats, and the Penn State Nittany Lions. With Oklahoma now picking up Hawkins, it's less likely that they will still want Jones or that Jones will want to go to Oklahoma or they will have another QB in the same class. Now, when you look at Hawkins, he's a six foot, two and a half inch, 195 pound QB out of Frisco Emerson High School in McKinney, Texas. 24 7 Sports, like I said, has him as a four star. He's the number 24 quarterback in the class, according to them, the number 63 player in the state of Texas. According to the 24 7 composite, he's the number 311th player in the nation, number 19 quarterback in the nation and the 53rd player in the state of Texas. And now the composite basically takes 24-7's rating and the ratings of other services and averages them out. And Hawkins is actually a a legacy recruit as well for the Sooners. His dad, Michael Hawkins Sr., played cornerback, defensive back for the Sooners back in 2002 under Bob Stoops. Now, Hawkins, who chose the Sooners over TCU, another Big 12 team, so Big 12 teams all around this, this, this story here, has a chance to be very special in Norman. He's very athletic and can run with football when needed. Obviously, that means he can also move around in the pocket and avoid a sack, and he's also really good at throwing on the run. Now, I watched tape on this young man and was very impressed. He has shown the ability to throw with different arm angles. There's one play he made. He was running to He was escaping pressure running to his left, and keep in mind, he's a right-handed quarterback. He was running to his left, and he had a defender coming in front of him, right? So he couldn't throw in a regular motion, so he had to lower his arm and throw about a three-quarter about three quarter level, threw it 35 yards down the field between two defenders and hit his receiver on the sideline. I mean, just an absolutely amazing throw. I recommend you go watch his highlights on the 24-7 page there. I'll leave the link in the description box. But just an absolutely great athlete with a really strong arm and a quick release. And he, and, and he can throw the ball into tight windows, as shown by that play I just described. Now, OU getting Hawkins doesn't mean the Sooners are 100% out of the running for Jones, for Samaj Jones, but I think it definitely puts them at a long shot to land him. Plus, WVU and Cincy still have Penn State to contend with as well in his recruitment. Now, 24-7 Sports has Jones as a 50-50 chance to land at either Penn State or West Virginia. Rivals still has him leading toward Penn State. However, like I mentioned on my previous video about Jones, I like West Virginia's chances because he played at the same high school as current Mountaineer Josiah Trotter, and that's St. Joseph's Prep in Pennsylvania. James Hurd, who's also on the Mountaineer squad this year, also played a year with Jones at St. Joe's Prep, and then 2024 commit, Richard Wink James, who's a defensive line commit, played with him as well at St. Joe's Prep. Now, James is finishing his career at his hometown school of Camden High School in New Jersey, and James Hurd actually finished his career out there as well. But they did overlap a little bit with this young man. So we could see basically uh, somewhat of a St. Joe's Prep reunion at West Virginia here in 2024 if this young man decides to sign along with James. Now, Joan, another positive thing I like about West Virginia's chances, and I mentioned this, this in my last video as well, and that's that Jones has also been putting some tweets up that make things look very positive for the Mountaineers. And one tweet that he's shown even since my last video, I'm going to share with you right now. As you can see here, there's, a tw- there's the tweet he put up on March 30th with his final four of Penn State, Cincinnati, Oklahoma, West Virginia. 
Go on down here, and you'll see April 2nd. He posted a photo of him and Chad Scott. This is while he was on, on campus. He says, might see a lot of touchdowns out of this duo soon. At Coach Chad Scott, hashtag trust the climb. Now, to me, that's a good sign right there. And you add that to the tweet he put out a few weeks prior saying, West Virginia fans, your quarterback will be on, on campus on April 1st or something of that nature. Now, obviously, until he signs that national letter of intent, nothing is guaranteed. He still has official visits planned to Cincinnati on June 9th through 11th and Oklahoma June 16th through the 18th. And his official visit to West Virginia is set for June 2nd through the 4th. But as you can see by the tweet, he has already been on campus. I'm assuming that was an unofficial visit. But if someone else knows, obviously let me know in the comment section. Uh, if, did he move his official visit up a day or uh, up, up to that date? Or was it an unofficial visit? I'd like to know in the comments if you know. So we all know that things aren't official until they sign that national letter of intent, like I mentioned. But I really like West Virginia's chances of getting Jones. But if I'm a Cincinnati fan, or especially a Penn State fan right now, since that's where they have him leaning to, the recruiting services, that is, I'm still holding out hope to get this four-star quarterback in the fold for the 2024 class. I want to hear your thoughts. Mountaineer Nation, Cincinnati fans, Penn State fans, I want to hear your thoughts in the comments section. Do you think that Oklahoma picking up Michael Hawkins Jr. in the 2024 class is a good sign for your respective team? Do you think that gives us, West Virginia, a better chance of landing? Cincinnati fans, do you feel like you have a good shot of landing Jones? Penn State fans, how do you feel about Samaj Jones and your chances of landing him in the 2024 class? I want to right now give a shout-out to all of my subscribers. Guys, I finally hit the 5,000 subscriber mark here on it's Easter Sunday. Happy Easter to all of you out there. Happy Resurrection Day. I want to really thank you for helping me get to 5,000 subscribers. What a great, uh, great honor that is that you guys are subscribing to my work here and enjoy my videos enough to subscribe. I really thank you for that. And we're not going to stop. We're going to keep going. I ask that if you can, please help my channel out financially by checking out my merch store. Uh, click the Fanatics link. Do your Fanatic shopping by using that link. You don't have to buy the product shown. It just gets you into the site. You can hit the thanks button right below. It's a heart with a dollar sign in it. Make a one-time donation to my channel. You can join my channel, become a member, take advantage of the perks that it has to offer. I will be doing a special giveaway here to celebrate my 5,000 subscribers. I'm waiting on the products to come in. But... I'm not going to give it away just yet, but I do have a giveaway to do here in the next few days. So stay tuned for that. And channel members will all be guaranteed one of these gifts, okay? And then I'll probably do some drawings for my subscribers. But uh, last but not least, if you want to support my channel absolutely free, there's four ways you can do that. You can like the video by hitting the thumbs up button. You can share it with your friends. You can drop a comment below, and you can subscribe. I'm not stopping at 5,000. I want to keep going. 10,000, 15,000, 20,000, and beyond. Okay. Well, let's do it together. I really appreciate you tuning into this episode. And until the next one, Q Country Roads.